Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. Are you ready to start our yoga routine? Today we're going to focus in our legs mobility. So anytime you're ready, remember you can put your music at home to create a lovely atmosphere for you. So let's just start. We're going to lie down on our back. We're going to take a couple of breaths here just to concentrate us in the present moment. So move your hands onto your tummy. Close your eyes just for a few seconds. Let the feet drop on the side. Take a deep breath through your nose and breathe out through your mouth with the sensation of fog in your sunglasses. Okay, so let's go. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Deep and long. Again, breathe in and breathe out. And one more. Breathe in and breathe out. Keeping that sensation in our throat, we're going to inhale and exhale through the nose. Again, if you are not yet used to that sensation of breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your, through your nose as well, it's okay. Just keep it a deep and long breath. So let's just start. Take a couple of breaths. Again, with that sensation in our throat to help us to control more the speed and the amount of air because it's the contractor of you, contraction of your epiglottis. So let's take a couple of breaths here. Deep and long, as long as you can expand your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out through your nose. And again. Anna. Breathe in. And again, this breath at the beginning helps us to concentrate in our body, move us into the present moment. And during the class, we try to use the breath to help us to release our muscles, to help us to connect mind and body. But the most important, keep us in the present moment while we are doing to release mental tension. So let's start. So we're going to stretch out some of your arms overhead, push your heels away, and we're going to take a deep breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Now toes pointing away. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. And one more time, push your heels away, take a deep breath, breathe in, and out, and toes pointing away, breathe in, and out. Now we bend the legs, we lift the feet, and we move the knees above the tummy and hug the legs with your arms, reclining child pose. Feel the lower back curving to release your lower back, relax your shoulders, relax your face. We're going to hold four breaths together. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for the three and out. Let's go for the two out and just one more and out now move your hands behind your head lift the head open your elbows we take a full breath here breathe in and breathe out and we release the head onto the ground keeping your knees together we're gonna move the knees in circle just to release your lower back. It's a small circle. And remember, we try to always connect the breath with the movement. Let's go for three more. Three. And two. And just one more. Back to center. We change the direction. And we just go. Five. Four. Three. And two. And last. Well done. Let's gently drop your feet on the ground and we're going to breathe in as we slide the right foot. We flex the foot and we lift the leg as far as we keep the hips on the ground and then we bend the leg and repeat again. Remember, it's just to mobilize our legs. So let's go. A slide and lift. Inhale, we slide and exhale, lift and bend again. Well done. Let's keep going for eight. Up. Let's go for a seven. Up. 
Let's go for a six. Oh, let's go for a five. I'll give you tummy in. Let's go forward to don't arch your back to keep your pelvis stable. Let's go for a two. Up and just one more. And up. We bend the knee. We squeeze the right knee towards the tummy. And here, try to don't overuse your shoulder. Relax your shoulders. You can slide the left foot on the ground and extend the left leg on the floor if it's comfortable for you. And we hold four breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for the three. Anna, relax your face. Let's go two. Anna, and just one more. And out. Good. Now we're going to change. Drop the right foot, keep the right leg bent. We start on the left. If you want to move your hands and your hips to have more support for the hips, doesn't move too much. Remember here, engage your tummy to have more support for the core muscles. So let's start. Breathe in as we slide the foot. Breathe out as we flex the foot, lift the leg. And again, breathe in, down, and up. Let's go for eight and up. Let's go for seven and up. Let's go for six and up. Let's go for five and up. Let's go for four, keeping your tummy in. Up. And let's go three. And up, and let's go two, and up, and just one more, and up. We bend the knee, and squeeze the knee towards your tummy, and slide the right leg, and recline in pigeon pose, and we hold four breaths. Breathe in, and breathe out. Let's go for a three, and up. Let's go two, out, and just one more, and out. Now bend your right leg, drop the left foot. Now we're going to go into the bridge, so move your heels under your knees. Keep the same with hips, knees, and feet. Make sure that your knees don't go wider when you lift the pelvis. In this exercise, we're going to, of course, strengthen our glutes, our hamstrings, but we're going to lengthen our thighs. Sometimes our walking goes slower because we are very tight in our quadriceps. So this exercise will help us to lend them and we can have open stride when we walk. So move your arms beside your body. We breathe in, breathe out. Make sure that you push your feet on the ground and your toes to help you to lift the pelvis and the spine. Here you can keep your arms just resting beside your body or you can move them under. Interlace your fingers, extend your arms to the maximum to open your chest and make sure that your palms are facing towards your neck and you are resting your hands on the side of the little fingers. So we just hold here, four breaths, pressing your feet on the ground. Breathe in, and out. Let's go for three, out. Let's go two, and out. And one more deep breath all the time. Release your spine down. Lift your feet, move your knees close to your tummy, hug your legs, release your lower back. Again, always when we pull the legs close to the tummy, we feel the lower back curving, which is great to stretch your lower back. Make sure that you relax your shoulders and relax your face. Let's hold it here together for four breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for three. And out, let's go two, ah, and just one more. Now move your hands again behind your head, and we lift the head just to feel the stretch in your neck and your upper back. 
Hi, feels good. Take a deep breath. Breathe in and out. Now let the head drop. Drop your feet gently on the ground. Move your arms on the side. Now here we're going to move the arms to the side, palms facing down, and we're going to breathe in and breathe out. Open your legs as far as good for you. Breathe in close. This is going to activate our inner thigh, which is going to give us more mobility for what they call hips openers, but it's just external rotation of the leg. And we keep going. Close and open. Close and open. Use your breath. Breathe in. When you open, breathe out as you close. And let's go for four. It can be in the, in the opposite way. Don't worry, just keep a deep breath. Let's go for three. And close. Let's go for two. And close. Only one more. And close. We keep our legs open. Move your feet together. And we're going to hold here the stretch. Make sure that your back is not overarching. So one more time, that sensation of pulling your pubic bone towards your belly button to engage your lower tummy and your pelvic floor muscles. Hold here for four breaths. Breathe in without pulling and without feeling the stretch close to your groin. Let's go two more breaths together. Breathe in. And just one more. And out. Now use your hands under your knees to close your legs. And we're just going to lift your feet. And one more time. Give it that squeeze. That was to your tummy. Let's hold here for four. Breathe in. And out. Let's go for three. Out. And let's go two. And out. And just one more. Move your hands again under the head to lift the head to stretch your neck and your upper back. We take a deep breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Release your head, everybody. Move your arms again beside your shoulders, palms facing down. Drop gently your feet. And this time, we're going to inhale as we drop the right knee to the side and we slide the foot to the side as far as good for us. Breathe in as you drag the foot back again to the starting pose. Let's go on the left. Breathe in, drop, and extend, and back. And use the breath out to extend the leg. Breathe in, drag it in. Good. As far as you don't feel pressure or you are pulling sensation in your muscles. More protection in, for your groin. So no pulling in your groin. Let's keep going. And really be aware of the movement. Anytime you can close your eyes and really connect with the movement of the leg. And we keep going. Right. And back. Left and back, right and back, left and back, right again and back, left and back. Let's go three more in each side, right. And back, left, and back. Let's go for two. Two, and back. Other side, and back. Just one more. Another leg, and back. Great. Now move your arms beside your body. We're going to lift the right leg and we're going to make a circle around just to feel the mobility in the hip bone. Don't make it too big because then after we put on the pressure, our joints are just tiny. Remember, we just want to develop and maintain the mobility in our legs. So let's keep going for 10, a small circle. 9, keep your tummy in. 8, 7, Six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Change the direction and let's go ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Now bend your knee, squeeze the knee towards your tummy, reclining pigeon. Slide the left foot if you feel comfy. We hold four breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for the three. And two. And just one more. Now drop your foot onto the ground and bend the other leg. Let's repeat. With this movement, even if we feel like it's very little, but we're stimulating a lot our glutes, our inner thigh, which is great to keep that mobility in our leg. So let's keep going. So let's start. Circle. And don't forget your breath. Breathe in and out. Deep and long. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six, keep your tummy in, five, four, three, two, and last. Now we change the direction, we just go ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Keep your tummy in. Four, I will remind you all the time. Three, two, and last one. Bend your knee, squeeze the knee to give a little break, and slide the other leg on the ground. And this exercise, the reclining pigeon, is fantastic to stretch our glutes, stretch our thighs. It's going to help us to, again, the legs mobility. Let's hold here just two more breaths together. Breathe in. And out. Just one more. And out. Now bend both legs, feet flat on the ground. So we're going to go deep stretch in our inner thigh and our hip muscles. So the right ankle is going to rest on the left thigh to the figure of four stretch. We're going to lift the left foot and we're going to try to pull the legs in. In case that you cannot hold your legs, you can use a belt to use to pull the left leg, or if it's too much for you, for your knee and your hip, you can keep your foot on the ground and just hold here is the same stretch. So let's hold here, figure four, pull the legs closer, and we're just gonna hold here. For four, and three, two, and last one. We release, we swap, other leg, and we just pull in as far as is good for us. We don't pull, we don't force. And we hold for four, and three, and two, just one more. We release. We're going to come back again to the bridge. So keep your heels under the knees, arms on the ground. Push your feet, lift the pelvis, extend your thighs, open your chest. We hold for four. You can move your arms under your back. Remember that we did in the other one. Let's go for three. And that helps us to open more our chest. And let's go to keep you deep breath. Don't wait for me. Always keep it deep and long. And gently release your spine and your hips on the ground. Lift your feet. Hold the legs with your arms. Give a nice push. Take a deep breath. Breathe in and out. Now move your hands under the knees. Lift the head. And we're going to rock in backward and forward. Now I want to tell you. Don't overuse your shoulders or your legs or your lower back. So we're going to have the sensation that you want to stand up. So then we really engage our abs. So move chin to chest. We're rocking. 
and we try to come into the sitting pose, okay? Now, if you feel we're gonna rock in a couple of times, but if you feel like it's a little bit painful in your lower back, just put a blanket. So ready? Oh my God, my hair always is a mess here. <laughs> so, well, this is the job. Ready? So we go backwards and try to balance on your sit bones. And we go here for four, good. Let's go for three, as ah, nice. And try to use your abs. And here, try to balance on your sit bones. Let's go two, come up, and just one more. Now we go here, feet on the ground. We interlace the fingers, the same sensation that you want to stand up. So that will help us to push the pelvis forward to straight our back. Interlace your fingers and push your palms up, and we hold four breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for three, and out. Let's go for two, and out. Just one more, and out. Let's go back. This is just to stimulate our core muscles, which is always is gonna help us, even when we are practicing, that we keep engage our core. So let's go chin to chest, and we're rolling on your back. You can put a blanket if you feel it's too hard for your lower back. And the important here is that you really feel that you are lifting this movement of your body is doing to engage your tummy muscles and your core. Let's go three more. Three. Good. Two, make sure that you roll on your back. And just one more. Great. We come here. We open onto the butterfly. Here I'm going to move on the side. And we're just going to hold here. Remember that we are stimulating all these muscles to have a more opening of the legs, more mobility in the legs. So we're going to hold the butterfly. Just gently push your feet each other. Pull up your tummy to keep you upright. In case it's difficult to you for keep it upright and you feel that you are a little bit curving, use your hands at the back on your fingertips to help us to push your pelvis forward, lift your chest, and keep you upright. So let's hold here for breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for three and out. Let's go two. Out, always your feet, keep them act active, and just one more. Fantastic. Now we're going to move our knees together, and we're going to roll in again. Let me just turn around. Ready? Hands on here, head on the chin to chest, rolling on your back like a ball. Make sure that your back is curved, and let's go for four. Engage your tummy, that sensation to lift, that you want to stand up. Good. Let's go for two, just to stimulate your core muscle. And just one more. Good. Now sit down, cross your legs, right leg at the front. And this rocking exercise is really interesting because it's the exercise we use when we are babies to engage and start to feel our core muscles to be upright. So try at home. At the beginning, it might be difficult, but after you will find more control with your body. So crossing your legs, you can keep your feet under your lower leg, one foot in front of the other one. It's up to you. We're going to breathe in, and we're going to lean forward as far as good for us. Again, in case that you cannot go too low, you're just going to hold your knees, and you're just going to lean forward. We're going to hold here for four breaths. Breathe in. And uh, let's go for three, and two, and just one more. We raise our torso. As you can feel, you feel a lot of stretch in your inner thigh. So sometimes you want to do um, advanced poses of yoga, like a prasarita, like a forward bend open legs or lotus. We try to force, force our muscles with those poses, but this exercise is really great to develop loads of mobility on the external rotation of the legs for advanced poses. Let's change your legs. So we go right, left leg at the front. You can keep your feet under your lower leg or one foot in front of the other one. And we're going to breathe in, 
Breathe out, we can hold the knees to help us to go, or we can move the arms to the front. It's up to you. Let's hold here for four. And three. Two. And just one more. And raise. And good, everybody. Roll your shoulders. Feel good. How are you today? Good. It feels great after the, the stretch. And again, stimulate our legs to have more mobility. We're going to end the session. Again, if you want to repeat the routine, just come back to the chapter. Click here below and you can start again the whole routine. If it's your time to go, move your hands on prayer position. We say goodbye like always. So breathe in, move your arms towards to the ceiling. Exhale, drop your arms. But this time we're going to exhale to your mouth. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Nice sound of relief. Inhale. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Hands back, pray position. Thank you for joining us. I hope you like it. And remember to like our videos so then more people can see it. And leave us a comment, share, activate the bell so you can have our notifications with a new video release. And you can find us as well in Instagram and Facebook as a Sacred Body Studio. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.